How's it going, everybody? Chris Cards back through the mail Monday once again. Six returns for your viewing pleasure today. Let's start off with our first return from Pittsburgh, PA. Hope everyone out there had a great weekend. There is uh, comedy cards in this one, and I can't tell where to tear it from, so let's go ahead and be careful with this envelope. Let's go here. Went to the State Fair last night, had a good time. The State Fair, where uh, I think it's the only time they ever sell turkey legs, is at the State Fair. $22 for a turkey leg at the State Fair, fa uh, friends. Hey, hey, Jim Leland. Chris Cards won the Jim Leland's sweepstakes. He'll either get back to you in two or three years or just a few days. So look at that. Jim Leland signed, signed the 87 Tops card. Did play seven years in the minor league organization for the Tigers. Never played in the big leagues, but he was a manager. I remember him managing the Pirates for 10 years. Got the killer bees in there. Andy Van Slag. Pirates were really good in National League East at that time. Jim Leland with a signature very akin to Ryan Sandberg where he just writes on top of itself. And it, uh, it's deteriorated over the years to just a big scribble. But it is what it is. It's Jim Leland signed 87 Tops card. I've sent him out four total cards in the last few years. This is the only one I've ever gotten back. So sometimes if you want to catch a fish, you got to throw out a lot of lines. And that's, that's the Jim Leland method of obtaining a TTM. So pretty cool from him. Uh, what's that? 1997, he won the World Series with the Florida Marlins, the disgraceful Florida Marlins, and three uh, three manager of the years under his belt as well. So really good manager, legendary, and I got the 87 Tops card signed for the set because I don't think the other cards were 87 Tops, so I got lucky here. I actually got a card I could put in my autograph set. So what a great way to start off this week's Through the Mail Monday. Let's move on to return number two. Okie doke, Traverse, tra tra Traverse City, Michigan is where this second envelope resides. Looks like we got some more vintage in here. 62 tops poking out. We got a signature card. We got Jay Hook, the very first pitcher to earn a win for the New York Mets. Did not sign the back of the signature card. We got a 61, 62, and 60 tops card signed. I need the 63 tops because that's where he's actually in a Mets uniform. He was in the expansion draft for the Mets prior to the 62 season. Won their first game, as I already mentioned. Complete game, five hitter against the Pirates at Forbes Field on April 23rd, 1962. He led the Mets that year in games with 34 and complete games, 13 complete games. He had a record of 8 and 19. The Mets were not that good that year, as most people probably know that know a little bit about baseball history. Losingest team in baseball history. There's been a few teams over the years that have uh, tried to take that crown from them, but they've yet to do it, so... Jay Hook, who was actually at the uh, Old Timers game a couple days ago for the Mets. I think they had it on Saturday. And uh, I don't know if he played in the game or not, but he was definitely there and introduced. So still going strong at 85. I do need to get the 63 top sign because that is actually him in a Mets uniform. It looks it's a sharp card. I couldn't find it, but really cool to get him back. Eight years in the bigs, five with the Reds, three with the Mets. Awesome return from Jay Hook. Let's move on. Oh, by the way, Jay Hook retired after the 1964 season because he got his master's degree in thermodynamics and took a job for the Chrysler Corporation. So how about that? Smart dude, I guess. I don't know. Probably made more from Chrysler than he did playing baseball. Let's move on now to return number three. All right, gang. Our next return is from the vault, which is a box of about 100 returns from years gone by that I've yet to open. This one's from Mr. Ron Sanford, who's been... Uh, Gone for almost two years, so January of 2021, I do believe, he passed away. Finally opening up this today. Spent two uh, years with the Tigers, one year with the Senators, one year with the New York Giants, which is crazy to think people that played for the New York Giants are still around, although he is not still around, but he was a couple years ago, so that's still insane to me. 60 top signed there nicely, signature card signed, upside down, but that's fine. Index card as well. Beautifully signed cards by Mr. Ron Samford. Five years in the bigs, two of the Tigers, one year with the Senators, one year with the Giants. His final season in 1959 with the Senators, he got into 91 games. That was the most he ever played in a single season. Hit a home run in his final at-bat, a three-run shot. His final big league at-bat, that's pretty cool too. Nice returns from Mr. Ron Samford. He was a shortstop slash second baseman. A light hitting shortstop second baseman back when you didn't have to have big numbers to play that position you just had to be a good fielder but not anymore times have changed mr ron sanford would not find his way into the big leagues in 2022 pretty excited to get this back 
couple years ago. Uh, do not send to him. You will be thoroughly disappointed. Let's move on to return number four. North Houston, Texas for this envelope. And we have Brian Little. Brian Little, uh, brother of former manager Grady Little. Managed the Dodgers and the Red Sox back in the 2000s. Brian Little, five-year career. Another sh uh, second baseman slash shortstop. Played mostly second base. Five years with the uh, in the bigs, I guess. Three with the Expos, two with the White Sox, one with the Yanks. Just a cup of coffee with the Yanks, but uh, got a couple of 84 top signed for the set. Looks like the one without the smear will go into the binder. The other one will go into the the vault, the archive, whatever I got. My huge box of autographed cards that I don't know what to do with. There you guys go. There's his information. Great little signer. Decent little player for a few years anyway. Brian Little had the uh, Sears Wish Book uh that, that hodgepodge of cards I bought back in like 89 or 80, 88 or 87 or some one of those years with his minor league card in it. So got that one signed. That was kind of cool. Those cards I've, held, I've had for, what, 40, 30 years now, finally getting them signed. So that's kind of neat that those cards finally paid off because <laughs> they certainly weren't worth anything when I bought them back in the late 80s. Well, I didn't buy them. I begged my mom to buy them for Christmas for me. You know, investment reasons didn't quite pay off the way I thought it would. Let's move on, guys. Return number five. I think we're at five already. Okay, no markings on this envelope whatsoever. No idea where this is from. Stamp isn't even canceled. No proof that this envelope even made it through the postal system, but I assure you it did. I promise you it did. Let's see who our fifth return is. Looks like some more vintage there poking out. We got Phil Regan. Phil Regan, a 13-year career. Six with the Tigers, five with the Cubs, three with the Dodgers. Signed very nicely there. So we got a 61, 62, 64, and 67 tops card, all signed beautifully by the wonderful Phil Regan, who up until I do believe 2020, he was managing in Mexico still. Uh, not managing, but pitching coach. He was pitching coach for a very long time. Like I said, only one year as a manager in 1995. He finished a bunch of games back in the day. 66, he was an all-star, saved 21 games, led the league. 68, he saved 25 games. Led the league in saves that year as well. So, Phil Regan, awesome return from this. Let's see who we've got next on our list. Our final return coming up next. Next envelope stamped from, what is that, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, home of Mario Andretti. We've got some more vintage to finish off this week's Through the Mail Monday. we got Mr. Dabolina, Mr. Bob Dabolina. we got Bob Daliba. Some nice vintage there. A couple of duplicates there. He signed very nicely there in black Sharpie. Nice return from Bob Deliba. Nice little seven-year career. Little stints with the St. Louis Cardinals, the Angels, the Athletics of Kansas City, and, of course, the Red Sox. Very nice return from Mr. Deliba. 176 games in that seven-year period. All in relief. Good little pitcher out of... I don't know. I don't know where he lived. Let's just say Des Moines. He looks like a guy from Des Moines. Very cool return from Bob Duliba. Sweet name. Makes me want to sing. Already sang that part of the song, I know, so I'm not going to sing it again, but you guys heard it. Those that know, know. And that is it for this week's Through the Mail, a Monday. Six total returns for you today. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Put in the books, guys. TTMM number 189. 190 next, and we're just 11 away from the big 200. And there is the haul. As you see it, very nice returns. Got some cool cards for the sets, 84 tops. And the 87 tops, Jim Leland. Happy to get that as well. 84 tops, Brian Little. I think that's all I got there for my set. 74, 84, 87 tops, and 89 upper deck. Those are the sets I chased. Try to get every one of those cards signed in all those sets. I, I put those videos out. I put those videos out on a weekly basis, usually towards the weekend. And I rotate between them all. I throw 10 cards in a week. So uh, check those videos out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. It's uh, pretty cool. I think. I like it. I like doing it. Documenting the experience. And the financial costs, which is not as fun. But I do it anyway. Because what the hell? No one else does it. So I might as well do it. I'll take the hit. Take the hit for the team. So there you guys go. Mets are off today. Bummer. That's okay. They need a, they need a break. Freaking Colorado Rockies played them tough. Not happy about it. Dodgers coming into town. Not happy about that either. But uh, And then the Braves get to play the Rockies. Ho-hum. 
ho-hum for the Rockies, and uh, hopefully they play their best against the uh, the filthy Braves, and uh, that's it, friends. I'll be, next Monday, I will be, next Sunday, I will be in San Francisco. Giants versus the Filthies. I get to watch that in person. First game since the San Diego Mets series, probably back in 2018, is it now? Boy, really excited to take a little trip down there for, what is it, Labor Day weekend and have a good time with the significant other and enjoy myself, ourselves, hopefully, have some good food and um, go, I don't know, go do uh, some um, sightseeing stuff and, of course, take in a game at the great at t Park, is that what it's still called? I'm not sure, but uh, that's it, my friends. Try to get a video from down there. I, I like to do a video. We'll see if I can put together a, a nice little uh, ballpark visit video. It's been a while since I did that. I think all my little ballpark visit videos were just live videos, like from A's, the Oakland A's. Actually, my Oakland A's, A's versus the uh, Red Sox might have been my last my, my last game. No, I don't think it was. Boy, this whole COVID thing is really it really screws up your ears, and, and when you last did stuff, it just... I mean, it's just weird, weird to uh, navigate uh, your your memories around what happened prior to COVID and during COVID. I don't think it had anything during COVID, so that's pretty much a good two-year chunk. Uh, I just not remembering anything that period of time because nothing happened. So anyway, I will stop my rambling and I will move on to uh, closing out this video. It's already kind of long, six returns, more lo- more than usual. So I had to get a vault in there, Ron Sanford. Figured I'd open up him and uh, show him some love and uh, nice to get those cards out of that envelope and into uh, the world here. So that is it, my friends. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I do this every single Monday. Would love to have you along for the ride. Hit that like button if you like the video. That'd be cool. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Take care.